to Greece uh, uh, at a very uh, interesting uh, but also full of opportunities uh, of time and uh, I think the economy has been doing rather well over the past months and I would like to thank you once more for the support that the bank has offered Greece uh, and as we have very ambitious plans uh, for 2020 uh, we look forward to your to your continued support on uh, on various uh, fronts uh, including our effort uh, to move quickly towards a low-carbon economy, which I know is also one of your uh, important priorities. Thank you very much, Prime Minister, for receiving me. And um, you've put it in a nutshell already what uh, we need to, to work on in the next years. I put it in another nutshell and say we have been here before the crisis. We have stayed during the crisis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we were a little bit lonely at the time mm -hmm. as foreign investors. And uh, we, now that uh, you are out of the worst, intend to stay here after the crisis. So uh, I think our work will go on. Mm -hmm. We are working on a record level presently mm -hmm. uh, here of more than 1% uh, of, of GDP mm -hmm. per capita. And or, uh, GDP, and compared to all other members of the European Union, Greece is number one per capita. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, uh, our great ambition and expectation, I think, from your colleagues in the European Council is that we play heavily on climate change. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot to do we can, we can do together. And I, I appreciate very much the strong emphasis of Greece on climate activities. It's, uh, for us, it's uh, a non-negotiable priority, not simply because it is in principle the right thing to do, but because we also view the transition to a low-carbon um, uh, economy as a significant opportunity to leverage uh, our natural comparative uh, advantages. Of course, uh, it is uh, a challenging exercise. As you know, we've set very uh, ambitious targets, uh, especially our decision uh, to uh, completely give up um, lignite. Uh, within uh, a relatively short time framework places particular emphasis on both of us working to make the people in the lignite producing regions comfortable that they will actually be facing a better um, uh, future. And uh, this is a topic which I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to discuss in more detail. Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's key. When, when I discussed at, at the end of last year with uh, almost every member state the issue of uh, moving out of fossil fuels, then there was a concentration on the transition to, to alternative energies and energy security and all these things. That's important. But what is much more important for the people who are losing their jobs in the coal mines and in the regions that are branded by, by the coal industry is that they need growth and jobs. Mm -hmm. So it is a much broader approach that is needed there. And therefore, I welcome the activities of the European Commission uh, labeled fair transition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be key for the people. Otherwise, we will lose the support of the people for this transition towards a carbon-free, mm. carbon-neutral world.